This large engraved war map on 12 sheets is one of only two known and was published in Rome under papal privilege by Giovanni de Rossi under his Latinized name, Jacob de Rubaius, in the Jubilee year of 1675. In that same year, de Rossi secured the prestigious and valuable commission of decorating the papal summer residence, the Castel de Gandolfo, with nearly 200 engraved maps of Europe, America, and the city of Rome. The corner scenes on the map depict personages of Europe, the Orient, Africa, and South America against typical landscapes and hunting scenes. There is a large solar diagram at the top between the two main hemispheres, and at the bottom are two celestial hemispheres of north and south polar projections, yeah. the circles representing the hypotheses of Ptolemy and Tycho Brahe. The design engraving by Giorgio Vidman of the highest standard. Just above the two celestial hemispheres is a bust of Queen Christina of Sweden, who resided in Rome from shortly after abdication in 1654 until her death in 1689, and the map has been dedicated to her by de Rossi. Having converted to Catholicism, abdicated and now living in Rome, Queen Christina was a great patron of the Jubilee celebrations of the Holy Year of 1675. All 55 plates of de Rossi's uh, Imaginis Veteris et Novi Testamenti, published the same year, and reproducing the Raphael's Vatican Loggia, are also dedicated to the Queen. After her death, de Rossi was commissioned to record her funeral. The main imprint is in a long panel below the hemispheres. At each side of the map, flanked by 11 town views, making 22 in all. These include Rome, Seville, Prague, London, Copenhagen, Krakow, Cologne, Lisbon, Madrid, amongst many others. The size and design of the map approximates to that of the, an earlier 12 sheet map by the Dutchman, Frederick de Witt, and the geographical correspondence is very close. De Rossi has added a tentative coastline of Tierra Jesse between North America and Japan, and has brought back in part the coastline of the Antarctic continent. There are two other changes which suggest an additional source. The large island in Hudson's Bay is now divided into three, and the desertum amo, pot to remember sand, has been added in northern China. The positioning and style of the many small ships in the sea have been directly copied from de Witt, and there are similar ornate decorations around the hemispheres. From a prominent family of publishers, Giovanni Giacomo de Rossi, or Joe Giacomo de Rubaios, was the son of Giuseppe and the younger brother and successor in 1653 of Giovanni Domenico. By 1648, at the tender age of 21, he had his own business producing and publishing engravings in Rome. In 1657, de Rossi married a rich widow and his business began to really flourish. His publications include four books of engraved plates of fountains, five books illustrating modern Rome, and two books of architectural elevations of Roman palaces. The papal privilege, granted for him by Alexander VII, for 1664 to 1674, gave him an effective monopoly on the market. In 1666, de Rossi issued four maps of the continents after Blau, and an atlas, the Mercurio Geographico, edited by Cantelli de Vignola. De Rossi and Vignola engaged the most prominent engravers working in Rome, Barbet, Coulier, Widman, Mariotti, and Battista Falda. During the course of an industrious lifetime, de Rossi made a fortune and built a casino on the Janiculum after design by Baratta. He was succeeded by his own son, Domenico, who continued to publish the Mercurio until 1738.